Okay. Got another review for you today. Uh, first one since we did Nori back uh, before Comic Con and got an item for you that I picked up at Comic Con. It just went up for sale on Weta's website. It's the Ringwraith mini statue. And up until the other day when it went up for sale on Weta's website, uh, you can only get it if you were actually at Comic Con 2014. So this was an item that I picked up. Um, it was $80 at the show that included tax and stuff. Uh, I bought one for myself, obviously. And then um, that Thursday night of Comic Con, I actually managed to win one. So I've got two of these little guys. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, get some more money going in and I don't know, maybe I'll buy nine of them and have my own nine ring race running around. But it's a really nice little statue. Uh, let me get him set up and we'll get started. Okay. Got a little ring race set up here. Just kind of spin around, give you a chance to to look at him as we spin him. Like I said, this little guy was eighty dollars at Comic Con. Um, I believe he's seventy four ninety nine on what is website. So you've got you know ta your shipping and that involves. So it'll make it right around about the same price that I paid. Uh, like I said, I got two of them at Comic Con. One I paid for, one that I won. Um, he fits in with the uh, other little mini line of statues that that Weta has done for Lord of the Rings with Strider and Gandalf. Arwen, Gollum, uh, I think that's it right now, plus this guy. Plus you've got the you know the Barrel Rider line, so that's kind of the same thing there, they're just doing the Barrel Riders with the Hobbit guys. Um, it's a really neat little statue. Uh, it's got quite a bit of little detail here in the um, in the outfit, the robes outfit, same thing. Um, so it's not bad, it's kind of a, it's, it's pretty nice little detailing. He's got kind of a dirty look to him, obviously. Um, I, I really like it. I mean, the pose is, um, you know, very creepy. I like that because I think that that fits with the ring race and how kind of creepy and, and you know, just evil they are. Um, sculpted by Bridget Weist. Weist. I apologize for messing up your last name. Um... It's just a really nice piece, like I said. Uh, he's in stock right now, um, as of earlier this week. So you can grab him. Some people have actually already started a game. I saw one member on the Shadow and Flame who is in the UK, and they actually have already gotten theirs. So it should be showing up on your doorstep anytime now if you started ordering him earlier this week. Uh, really fantastic piece, $75. So it's not a bad little price. Um, you know, of all the things at Comic Con, you know, this guy, it was nice to see something like this because that little mini statue line that Weta does, it's, it's just, they're nice collectibles that you can get that are affordable on any budget. I mean, if you don't want to, you know, spend, you know, the big dollars on, say, the large Balrog or Smaug or something like that, and you like Lord of the Rings, you can get something like this have something that was made by those that did the movies and, and you know bring your favorite characters home and so this these the little mini lines the barrel rider lines they're great for that i would definitely suggest if you like lord of the rings if you like weta's work these are great they don't take up a ton of space they're affordable and they're just really really well done so i would definitely suggest getting them like i said he's in stock so you can get him right now uh, I'm not sure actually what the next thing will be that I review. Maybe um, the Balrog or something like that uh, when he ships later this year. I know he goes up for pre-order September 22nd, so be on the lookout for that. Um, till, th till next time, guys. Thanks for checking out the reviews. Go get this little guy. You need him in your collection. Till next time, guys.